Florida. I meant the Mayweather Boxing Club, the place where champions are made, born, and reign. I'm with the man, Floyd Mayweather Sr. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Floyd, I've been sitting here. I've filmed you a lot. People coming up to you like you, Floyd Jr. What makes your style of boxing coach? We're going to talk about the coaching first of all. Why do people love you so much? Why people uh, cow, uh, you know, they just, they flock to you. Why? Uh, because I'm the joy I'm boy. I'm all the way out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm in the sweat box and I'm enjoying it. I'm at the Mayweather Boxing Club, famous for breathing great fighters from yay high up to this high. And I'm with the man who runs the plan Floyd so Mayweather we were Sr. talking about your nickname coming up was Floyd, well, what was it, Joy? J-O-Y. Mm -hmm. J-O-Y. Floyd Joy, and that's also Junior's nickname. Correct. That's very correct. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the Mayweather family. There's been some ups. There's been some downs. It's been hot. It's been cold. There's a lot of talk about, you know, controversy here and there. Talk about how when it comes down to it, family is family with regard to the Mayweathers. Well, the, way, the Mayweathers are like any other family, no different from anybody else. You know, you got, you got many uh, families that um, do... Um, do things that the Mayweather do, does and do things worse than the Mayweather does because uh, we have uh, we have uh, you have people killing their family members and uh, ki mothers killing their babies and, and you know you, you have all kind of stuff. What we do is elementary compared to some of the stuff that goes on because uh, to tell you the truth uh, the only reason it's being broadcasted is because we are fam a famous family of peoples. That's the only reason that they can know what's even going on with the Mayweather's period. Unless, as, unless those um, big headlights and TV lights went on us, you never hear about this, but being that we are under the lights all the time. You know, we can't prevent it, you know. So. Public scrutiny. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Do you feel like the controversies in your family and the troubles have actually proven to make you a stronger unit? I think that I think the Mayweather is a strong set of people. And... I'm not saying it because of I'm in Bob, but I'm a strong person myself. And um, I think that we're strong in many ways, you know, because we tolerate a lot of things that, you know, people come at us with. And, um, you know, a lot, of things, a lot of things that we can do, we don't do. You know, we, we're a cool family. We... Uh, we calm and cool, collective type of people. We don't, we, it, ain't, it ain't like the people think that, oh, the Mayweather this way, the Mayweather this way. If we that way, look at, I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen it. I ain't never seen a perfect family in my life. And then. I'm a witness to that in my own family. Thank you. And I think you ain't got a witness you ain't got to just say you witnessed that in your family or my family. I think that happens in all families. Everybody ain't good in all families. You all, everybody always going to have their ups and downs, bad and goods, goods and bad. And, you know, it's, it's just a thing that it's life. It's, it's life. That's what it is. And, and, and nobody, nobody, and 
And nobody is above the Lord. The Lord controls everything. And hey, look, uh, without him, it wouldn't be no me, you, nobody else. So uh, you hit the nail on the head there. Now, in the in the all access program, Floyd himself said that though he has worked with his uncle Roger, uh, obviously uh, hard on training. You ultimately will be in his corner on Saturday night. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm the head trainer, and um, he wanted to get some of the Floyd. I'm pretty sure he wanted to get some of the lux, the luxuries that he had before in his game of boxing. I mean, in terms of him moving his head. Not getting hit in the head and 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 catching pu catching punches and firing back, you know. And when a guy, you know, uh, Lafleur's a good kind of he, he learned all this stuff from his daddy, you know, rolling his shoulders and coming back with punches, you know. And that had nothing, that had nothing to do with Roger. It was me. Talk, talk about that style because I was watching the uh, I was watching both the uh, Sugar Shane Mosley fight and the uh, Ortiz fight with uh, Junior, and um, that style is almost exclusive and classic to Floyd Junior. Where did that shoulder roll style? Where did you who taught you that so that you could pass that on to Floyd Junior? Uh, Dale Williams, the guy that was training me. Before he taught me that he taught me the shoulder roll, and the shoulder roll is one of the most scientific um, defense in boxing. For who all knows it? Very few people know it. A lot of people is trying to emulate, and uh, a lot of people trying to emulate and and and, and copy, but it, it don't work that way. You know this 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 thing right here, is, this this right here is deep deep back in the fifties, forties, and stuff. With this back there with Sugar Ray Robinson and Joe Lewis and all the greats, what that uh, um, show roll is all about. See, because there's so many different ways that I can show you how it goes. See, can't nobody in here. It, not one person here can show you how it goes six, seven different ways. They can't show you that. I can. Um, did anyone in your family evolve from the world of martial arts? Because I myself, being in the world of martial arts, we, we, we do use that type of defense sometimes, and it almost seems like you're rooted. Y your roots came out of some, and I'm not talking about mixed martial arts, because I really, I, I honestly... Uh, have a little disdain for that as a true martial artist, but I'm talking about true martial arts like Bruce Lee style. Does anyone in your family come from that background as well? No, I I didn't come from that background, but I always liked the Bruce Lee, and uh, a lot of people told tell have told told me over the years that I train like Bruce Lee. Exactly. But I don't I don't I don't I don't. I think I train like a fighter is supposed to train It's fighters, but a lot of people tell me I train like Bruce Lee. That's what they tell me. I just think that just like myself, because I am a martial artist, I recognize that because I've studied Bruce Lee. And if you notice in some of his best fight films, he, he, the, his stance that he takes, you know, that, that he would defend in that style as well. So I think it only comes from a true martial artist that can notice that that Bruce Lee uh, enigma in you? Well, uh, well, it's, I'm not going to. It's very unique. Yeah, that's, that's what I would say, too. It's very unique. It's very unique. Uh, anytime somebody can uh, throw big, hard punches at you, and you can stay there and block them with just your shoulder and not your, not your hands going up or not you even moving your head, and you just pull your shoulder right there, nod. It's incredible. That's why you pretty boy Floyd still. He's been protecting that face. <laughs> yeah, well, you, well, 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 
we we got to get to we got to get down to that better, cause uh, uh, we've been getting hit a little bit too much lately, so we're gonna we're gonna slow it down. <laughs> 